Okay, so this is gonna be a video about little mice and rats that uh, tend to get in your attic and other places. And so I use a couple things. I use a spray, it's, uh, it's a mixture of, uh, well, it's, it's like pine salt or pine glow and ammonia. And if you have a little bit of peppermint oil, you can mix that in there. I've also uh, mixed in there these mop balls. You can buy pretty much everything at the dollar store I've talked about so far. So the mop balls, I just uh, randomly scatter around. Um, what you want to try and do is you want to try and scent the areas that you're not going to trap. So if you're not going to put traps back there, you want to scent that area uh, with something because they'll tend not to go back in those little cubby holes. And you want to uh, not scent the areas where you put the trap. So once again, you scent the areas with the spray and the mothballs, and then leave the areas unscented where you're gonna set the traps. And then, these are our two basic traps here. Um, these traps here, um, these are uh, Chinese design, I think it's a really good design. And so basically, it's like, all you gotta do is basically push it back and it's set. That's all you have to do, basically. Sometimes you have to adjust the tongue on it, but basically that's all you have to do. And there's a little place back here where you can unscrew to put the food in. I usually just put it in the top and hold it, uh, hold it clamped when I put this top in the, um, uh, hold it, hold it when I put the food in. Um, so, yeah, these, these actually, these traps, I've caught more in these traps than I have in these traps. Um, although, Bigger rats tend to get caught in these traps. These are actually, they have a smaller version of this. It's like a mouse trap version. This is the rat trap version. And I think bigger rats like this one here. And what I usually try and do is I will put the, the trap in kind of a little cubby hole area. Now this is some mixture of food that I made for them. And I usually try to put the traps in a little cubby hole so that it's not right out there in the open. Um, because I think they kind of like to crawl around with something. But they're pretty smart, so you have to basically tune in to your, uh, tune in to your uh, genius to figure these out because although these, these guys you know, are not driving cars and um, operating computers. They have innate instincts that, uh, it's their survival instinct. So basically, you have to uh, figure that out. And so what I've done is, there's some other stuff you can buy at the dollar store. Um, and what I do is I will mix this with that, uh, with that drywall patch. And so I, I've got a couple, it looks like they ate all of it in this one here. I had some down here. So I'll, I'll put them in little cups like that, hold the cups over, and um, you might, might want to try and mix a little oatmeal in it, but you want to have more of the drywall patch mix. And what happens is when they eat the drywall patch mix, it basically hardens up inside of them. Um, and that's what I've heard. I've actually never done any experiments, but um, this is just one thing I use. I, and I also have the ultrasonic. I don't have an ultrasonic going in here now, but uh, I, uh, I also use the ultrasonics. And I found that the ultrasonic noisemakers um, may be a slight deterrent, but I had one and uh, a 
rat crawled in one, ate through a steel screen I had, and the ultrasonic noise maker was probably four foot from the screen where the rat or whatever ate a hole in it and crawled in. So that's my little rat rant today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347.